right, well, I got this new CD out, and it's called uh, When the Deal Goes Down. The songs on the record, some of them are old. Uh, Soldier of Misfortune is old. When the Deal Goes Down is actually you know, about 20 years old. So I always like that when you were able to bring a song up from the past. And then, of course, there's, I've always got a bunch of songs that I write with John Hadley. John comes into town for like two, maybe three weeks, and we write, and then he goes back to Oklahoma. That's kind of just a, kind of the, the bedrock of where I get songs now. And then also we did a song by Bill Jackson, who's a, a Australian singer-songwriter. And we do a song, Something in Blue, that he wrote with his brother, Ross. When I first started listening to music, like the Beatles, they, they would do Yesterday, this beautiful ballad, and then they'd do some just outrageous rocker. And I that's what I've always kind of aspired to. So. You know, there's songs that are really kind of folky, like uh, It's What I Do, Little Bird, and then there's uh, Roll This Stone, which is kind of an out-and-out rocker. And that's, I think everybody's personality is kind of that way. They have the quiet, reticent part, and then they have the LET'S GO part. It's a sad, sad, sad Saturday night. There's this guy, Odd Vondervain, that I met years ago, sad, 25 years ago, sad, when I first started going to Saturday the Netherlands to play. Uh, he and John Hadley and I uh, got together and uh, wrote some songs. John kind of took a verse and I took a verse and, and Odd had a verse. So it was kind of, you know, uh, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. Uh, collaborating on a song. Kind of singer, songwriter, international rat pack. And then, you know, listening back, there's this thing in the song that the tuba kind of adds this bit of humor to it somehow. Right away I started thinking, wow, I saw this guy walking around in a city with a tuba player following him. And the tuba player was kind of the manifestation of this guy's loneliness. And then I looked, you know, at the thing in my head a little more closely at the tuba player and uh, it was Annie McHugh. And she had a pin, I mean, it was very precise. She had a pinstripe suit on, and she was playing the tuba. And so we did a little video of that, and it came out, came out really nice. Don't you think? No music, no laughter, no happy ever after inside. Gone on a sad Saturday night. I've just kind of been on the road for a long time. I got to figure out a way to kind of cut it back someday, but not anytime soon, because I have a new recording out. Have I told you this? Uh, it's called When the Deal Goes Down. And uh, I've got to go uh, out and play it for the world. You've got to go out there and, and play live. You know, over the years, to do these songs, the story songs, and people will say, you know, wow, you really transform yourself while you're doing that song. And I don't know what people are talking about. I mean, I can't, I don't change clothes. I got a guitar and I'm singing. There's a microphone, it's not, I don't have a whole lot of leeway of what I can do 
acting wise, so I don't do try not to do any of it. But I guess the song, you know, if they're successfully written and performed, people have the feeling of that they have seen these characters somehow on stage. It's very odd. So I'm going to go around the world and play these songs. Okay, what am I doing? Who am I? Where am I going? Hmm, where does this go? Yeah, here's an example of what it's like to be on the road. We're lost. And uh, get used to it. Lost is a state of mind. And uh, I suppose the smart thing to do would be to turn around and go back. No, but I don't think so. <clears throat> the people I worked with doing this record, Mark Robinson, uh, Dan Seymour playing bass, Justin Amaral uh, playing drums, and of course Sergio and me, and then the horn section. There's some people that do what they do for the reward that they can get, for like celebrity or money. And then there's people who do it and they wouldn't really be able to explain to you why they do it. It's just this thing that they do that brings them such satisfaction. And those people are really great to work with. You know, that's what I do. I mean, it's, and to find these people that do the same thing, you know, is a really good feeling. And I'm really proud to have worked with them. They're the real guys. And, you know, Jen Gunderman, she's the real woman. And I think uh, there was a dog there too, and it was a real dog. It kind of came out awkward, but I wanted to say that. Okay.